The World Health Organization is sounding the alarm over the monkeypox outbreak, declaring it a global public health emergency. It's the second time in two years that's happened, the first, of course, being COVID-19. The decision came Saturday after an emergency committee within the organization met again over the issue. In just a few weeks, the disease spread to dozens of countries and infected tens of thousands, including two children in the U.S., a toddler in California and an infant who's a non-citizen but was tested while in Washington, D.C., according to federal health leaders. In New Jersey, the state is now reporting 81 probable and confirmed cases of monkeypox. Epidemiologists Epidemiologists warn the U.S. is potentially running out of time to contain the spread of the virus here. Dr. Stephanie Silvera, Montclair State University epidemiologist, joins me to explain what this means. Uh, Dr. Silvera, good to talk to you. First, I think it's helpful to get up to speed on what a declaration like this means. What does it do? So I think the purpose of this declaration is to really alert countries around the world that this, you know, these, what we were looking at as limited outbreaks are now becoming more and more widespread. There have been almost 16,000 cases of monkeypox worldwide, of which almost 3,000 have been identified in the U.S. alone, and 41 of those cases have been identified in New Jersey. And so this is to really trigger that public health response that we need to get this under control. And we should note, of course, that the way the Department of Health categorizes it is probable and confirmed. They put it at 81. That being said, from your vantage point, is the U.S. being complacent or has it been complacent in the response to this? I do. I think we've been a little bit um, plagued by pandemic fatigue, right? Nobody wants to talk about yet another infectious disease. And I think Unfortunately, given what we know and the impact of climate change, um, we can no longer be complacent, not just about monkeypox, but also looking at other emerging and re-emerging infectious diseases. I mean, is there a blueprint now because of the pandemic, because of COVID-19 that has sort of helped put other protocols in place? Is it spurring uh, public health agents into action? In theory? There should be a plan already. So monkeypox is not a new virus. It's a it's a re-emerging virus and it's emerging in geographic locations that it previously hasn't been seen. But we already have a blueprint for how to do this. We simply need the political will to actually implement those plans. I think part of the challenge has been that so far, this um, infections are being largely seen amongst men who have sex with men. And so it's being sort of looked at through that lens as if it's a sexually transmitted infection. It is not. And even though it is primarily impacting those communities, this can impact anybody. It's through direct contact or close physical contact, meaning if you are in a crowded nightclub, um, it doesn't matter your sexual orientation. It does not matter whether or not you've had sex with somebody. You can be at risk. Yeah, I think that's an important point and one that both you and Dr. Perry Halkidis have made on our air. This is not, a, his words, a gay disease. Um, the World Health Organization says, listen, we can't say that it's only going to stay contained to those communities. How fast can it spread? What's the potential there? So I think the big concern is that most of us have not had the smallpox vaccine. And therefore, we have a large population of people who are at risk simply because we have no known immunity to this. And so we need to really take this quite seriously. And my concern is that going back to schools, um, we're going to see this potentially spread to children for whom it can be more dangerous. Yeah, and a wider outbreak for sure. Um, Dr. Stephanie Silvera, really important information there for us. Thank you. Thank you.